So iOS 26 is here and we at Fiber have access to the developer beta. Basically, Apple releases the software early for developers and people who test the iOS so that we can find bugs and tell Apple what problems we have in the software right now. But I just wanted to give you a look and feel of what the new app icons and the entire UI feels like in this video. And if you want to download the new 26 version, I can tell you how to do that. But for that, you'll have to wait till the end of the video. Let me just show you what the new look is all about. First up, the home page looks absolutely different. You have this liquid glass design, which just looks very futuristic. If you slide the icons across the screen, you can see the image in the background. This liquid glass animation just seamlessly just flows across the screen. It looks nice. Apple has worked on this one, but I feel I've seen this somewhere before, maybe on Windows or even Android. You can make these customizations in the control panel as well. Entire UI is now looking very translucent, very liquid-like, and Apple is saying that this is going to be the future of iOS. So, I mean, it's time for you to get used to some very clean UI experience. The animations again have been changed across the board. Even if you open the camera app, you can slide across the interface and change the modes. The same is possible on different other applications. And this animation, liquid base, I think is very fluid. I like it, but there are other people who might beg to differ because I don't think they would like to change the entire look and feel of their Apple iPhone devices. The Photos app has also gone through an overhaul because I see this new look for the Photos app. It's a bit confusing for me right now because I've just installed the new software and it will take some time for me to get used to the entire layout and how it functions. And you can even create memories using AI right in the screen. And I'm sure when these changes come, you will take some time to get used to how this looks. It looks a bit cluttered right now for me, but it's just on how I use it on a daily basis and then I'll get used to it. Next up, the tiles and the folders, the entire organization look is translucent, looks very glass-like on your iPhone. I felt uh, that it is cleaner, looks more innovative and more futuristic than before, but uh, the organization, the customization, you can obviously do them yourself. I think it's a good look to have on your phone. The app library also has a very different clean look. All the apps look organized and you can customize this look, by the way. You can have an all glass app icon feel like you see here. And I think Apple is just saying, okay, we are giving you so much of customizations now. It looks very different, but it's not that different that you will feel difficult navigating through the UI and that's smart that Apple has done here. I will warn you that after installing the developer beta, the phone gets a little buggy. It hangs a bit when I'm trying to transition between the screens. So there could be problems if you install iOS 26 and developer beta on your phone and uh, just be ready for a few bugs to pop out here and there. But how do you install it? Let me tell you that. So first up, you need to register with Apple's developer beta program by going onto their website and registering your device's email ID. It's a very simple process. And after that, you need to go to your phone's setting in the general category. You will see software update where you will see developer beta option pop up. You just need to turn it on and then automatically it will search for the software update. Once the update pops up, a prompt will be in front of you which says that the software is around 15% GB if you want to install it. Go ahead and install, but here's something that you should be aware of. See, this is a developer beta. It's a bit buggy. There might be complications. And if you're using your primary device and wanting to install this, fair warning, this could lead to data loss. This could be a problem. It will be buggy. So I would not recommend people who use their iPhones as a daily driver to install this software because uh, you might run into complications. However, if you are still adventurous and want to try the new look for iOS 26, then you can go ahead and install this software. And after installation, you will get a new Apple iPhone, iOS 26, the entire shebang right on your screen. So there you have it, a quick look at iOS 26 and how you can install it on your device. Let us know in the comment section what you really feel about this liquid glass design and whether it's something that you feel is really innovative because 
the internet is divided right now. A lot of people like it, a lot of people don't because they've already seen it on Windows and Android. So mixed reactions are coming in, but the comment section is open. Let us know what you think about this new look that Apple has got to its iPhone and Apple devices. And we'll be back with more updates from iOS 26 and also other OS updates that Apple has got to its ecosystem and announcements that they made at WWDC 2025. This is Cyrus signing off. I'll be back very soon with more tech right here. Take care.